Okay, I actually wrote pre-wrote this. I pre-wrote this statement in advance. I only talk about this once. Um, I only talk about this once, and then, and then we move forward and celebrate Lunar New Year, new beginnings. So, as y'all know, when the announcement dropped, I was just as surprised as all of you. I only found out because a friend messaged me. I didn't even know what was in it. I read it for for the first time when it went public. I mean, as y'all know, that I tri did try to leave neutral. Yes, I knew. It would be very bad for everyone involved if it went to the last possible route. And I tried. I really did try to try and make it neutral. And I did get a lawyer because my emergency contact and I couldn't really handle it anymore. Uh, especially when I was still recovering. I was lucky that I had a statement made in advance, uh, which my lawyer helped edit in case this did happen, so I could respond instantly. The statement that was posted was written so I'd be safe and I can move forward and restart my life while being stuck in limbo forever. I wouldn't have made the statement if the announcement didn't go up the way it did. I was willing to keep the info hidden to the public. And I never truly wanted the public to know why I was in the hospital, but I had to respond with the truth when it did went out and I know there's a lot of people wish for me to clarify or explain more but I honestly can't and I'm sorry and these are the things that I can say though I was in the hospital for an attempt and I provided medical documents of everything that happened to prove it as well as the therapy sessions afterwards and doctor evaluation everyone knew I was in the hospital and the reason behind it a few days before I was discharged. And I was not referencing something that happened once that pushed me to it, but it was a buildup that stemmed for multiple months that led to my breaking point. I would never make this claim without proof or confirmation and only did so that my lawyer looked through the proof and believed and agreed it was happening within multiple months from what I showed. I honestly wish I could have met you all one last time and I cried when I found that I couldn't. And I hope I can still meet you on the future, even if I'll be a little different. My final note on all of this is let's not harass or bully anybody. I already know how that felt. And I want us to be adults and not make it high school. And I want to move on, focus on us, succeed and be better. The Lunar New Year is coming and it's two new beginnings. And it's time to leave the past behind us and make new memories. Like this entire stream, I have so many ideas I still want to do. And I really do want to make all of you laugh for as long as I can. I think from this entire stream, you guys can tell I'm still me and they can never really take that away. So yeah, that was the statement that I wrote for this stream. The two hour ad is finally over. I think that's like the huge weight off my shoulder. Um, And it's time to move forward, celebrate new lunar new year, yeah! I mean, we can celebrate early. Gong hei fa choi dai ga dai lei sun tai hing han. Ah, gong si gong si gong si ni. Ah, gong si gong si gong. 